How is our baby doing? Is it kicking already? As that date draws near, I feel like I'm on death row. This is not your baby, and don't ever come near me. If I was marrying Grace, then I would be the happiest man on earth. Don't you feel any regret that Andrew did not fight for you? And besides, no matter what I do, Andrew and I can never be together, right? What you are doing is a big sacrifice for you. To unwillingly turn your back at the woman you truly love. It's really because I'm poor. He and Elizabeth are a perfect match. You don't have any right to me, to my child, nor have you any claim to my family's money. And I thought I was lucky. If I were the one to decide, I will not ask for you to make this great sacrifice. Don't you dare come to Andrew about this. I would not even think of it if you would start giving me my allowance. You better make sure that it's exactly nine months, or else I'll get suspicious. That's why I'm here for you, a poor man for a poor woman. If you would really think about it, you and I are a perfect match. Because I can't even imagine who would possibly want to kill you. I am getting so confused. Look, someone get an ambulance! And you still can't forget him? If I'm not yet healed from the wound that Andrew had given me. I really have a bad feeling about your friend. I have not seen any reason at all for me not to trust him. But how will that wound of yours heal when every time it gets well, you peel off the scab again? It's just puzzling as to why Harry's so determined to get close to you. I appreciate you thinking of my well-being, Charles. But I know you are very wrong about Harry. If you cannot stand waiting for me, if you cannot stand waiting until I forget all about him, then it's best if you just forget about me. George, George, please don't leave me. We still have so many things to do. I know that I can face all of this if I had you by my side. Goodness, Andrew. The things that Elizabeth had told me are true. That you've been drowning yourself in alcohol. That you've been letting yourself go. I thought you didn't care, Mother. Besides, if you didn't want to see me like this, then you shouldn't have come. Of course I care about you. You are my son as well. Listen, I didn't come here to argue with you or to pick a fight with you, Andrew. I just wanted to bring you your... advanced wedding gift. Elizabeth had told me that. You want to start up your own... company? And I thought that this would be a... a good gift. For your... seed money. Is this a gift or a bribe? Grace? I wanted to thank you for the way you've been taking care of my father. Oh, it's nothing, sir. It's been easy taking care of Sir George. I also wanted you to know that. The next time that we see each other, Andrew and Elizabeth will be married. I wanted to ask for your forgiveness for any pain that my family has caused you. Andrew, I also care about you. Elizabeth told me that you've been working hard. 
and that you wanted to start a, a brand new company. That's why I thought of giving you that. She also said that you've been so stressed out because of the wedding. Mother, I can handle the business. Only Elizabeth and the wedding are stressing me out. Elizabeth is just concerned about you. Why can't you just give her a chance? I know that I asked you to marry her, but please don't treat her this way. Why can't you give her a chance? Mother, why not? Didn't you tell me before that we're both equal? She's your daughter, but I'm your son too. All my life, I've always done what you've wanted. I never disobeyed you, except for the fact that I chose Grace. You don't have to ask for my forgiveness, Sir Charles. Your family hasn't done anything to me. Andrew and I broke up because I just think that the entire world was telling us that we shouldn't be together. And I've accepted that. Please tell them for me that I wish them both to be happy. You only met Elizabeth recently, Mother. But how come you're always thinking of what's best for her? It's not just her welfare I think about, Andrew. I think of yours, too. If you just give her a chance to love you, you'll become happy with her. <sighs> Mother, the one I love is Grace. Why can't you understand that? You think that we won't be happy together, huh? Or is it because I'm only adopted? That's why I should be the one to give way. Only Elizabeth should be happy, right? No, Andrew. Don't start thinking that way. That's not it, Andrew. That's not it. What about you? You know these things? We shouldn't wait for them. They just happen. Could he also please tell Elizabeth to always love Andrew? But then again, you're the one who raised me, right? With the price I have to pay so high, Mother, I didn't know you'd make me do this, throw my heart away. Andrew, it hurts me so much to see you hurting like this. But I wish you would understand me too. As a mother, I don't have any intention except to make you a better man. If all you had were good intentions for me, then why are you punishing me this way? I'm sorry if you think of my decision in that way. But I love my daughter. And I love you too, Andrew. Don't worry, Mother. I will marry Elizabeth. But I'm telling you, after the wedding, it's up to me how we're going to live together in hell. Are you there? Grace, I just wanted to thank you. For all the love that you've given me. For all the time that you spent with me. Those were the happiest hours of my life. I will never forget those times, Grace. 
but I have to do this. I need to do this for my family. Grace, I want to hear your voice, Grace. Are you ready for your wedding, dear? Well, I'm almost done with my hair and makeup. And Aunt Anastasia says they're on their way with Andrew. So in a few hours, I will be Mrs. C. I'm so happy for you, Stephanie. Everything is going according to plan. As long as there are no foul ups. He should have. That thing was his only contribution to your wedding, right? But you know, Stephanie. I'm going to say this to you now because Charles might see us talking later on. I'm really so proud of you because you managed to get the wealth of the Wongs and combine it with that of the seas.
Grace, come on, we can't be seen here. Elena. Who, who are you praying for? George, thank goodness you're awake. Where is my, where's my other son? Where's Charles? He was here earlier, but he needed to leave for a while. Today is the wedding of his daughter, Elizabeth. Who's Elizabeth? Dearly beloved, we are here today to witness the marriage of two people. They are here today to swear their love for one another. And in this special occasion, we are all here to see the start of their journey as a couple. They freely come into this and to get the blessings of both their families here. As husband and wife, they will continue on with their lives with the support and the love of each other and their families. You know, Elizabeth, your granddaughter, your granddaughter with Charles, his daughter with Diana, Now I remember. The Elizabeth that, that Charles introduced to me as my granddaughter before. And with everyone present today, we shall all witness the promise of their love as Andrew and Elizabeth take the vows of matrimony and to become husband and wife. Stop the wedding! I am the father of the child that woman's carrying. Helena. That girl is an imposter. That Elizabeth is no granddaughter of mine. you're making here? This is embarrassing! But it would be more embarrassing if they found out that you planned to have me killed. You had me run over! I was thinking that it was the end of me! But you didn't succeed, Elizabeth! George... What do you mean by... an imposter? The night that I was shot... Elizabeth! I found out that the pendant that she had, that wasn't the pendant I gave my granddaughter. It was just a copy. I don't know what you're talking about. 
And I don't have the nerve to have anyone killed. How dare you accuse me of that? But your conscience can bear to lie to all these people? Why don't you tell them all the truth, huh? That I'm the father of that baby. Is that true? He's just a liar. Get out of here. I don't know what you're talking about. Get out of here. But Charles has accepted her as his daughter. She's getting married to Andrew right now. She's just going to ruin the Wong's family name. We need to come up with a plan. We need to go over there. We need to stop that wedding. Security! Take him outside! Elizabeth, you I can't do this to me! Are. I have a right to that child! Take, Take him outside! Out Elizabeth! I'm the father of that baby! Let go of me! Let go of me! Elizabeth! Let go of me! Elizabeth! Elizabeth, I've had my doubts for a long time now. Who was that? I don't know anything about what he's saying. Andrew, let's go through with the wedding. But whose idea was it for Elizabeth to pretend to be Charles's daughter? I don't know. But Anastasia needs to know about this right away. Isn't he the guy who was following you at the Windsor? How do you know him? Is he your boyfriend, huh? No, I don't know him. I don't even know why he was following me around. He said that we knew each other and that we, we had a relationship, but I really don't know him. Anastasia, answer your mobile phone. Anastasia. Thank you very much, Nato. I know that it hurts you so much to see me like this, but you still went with me. Thank you. I am ready to get married to you, Grace. But you're crying over Andrew because he married someone else. We're both feeling the same thing. <laughs> we both loved someone. We both got left behind. We both got replaced. This is so embarrassing. Andrew Elizabeth loves you. Maybe that man was just lying about all of this. But what if it's true, Mother? Are you going to just let this happen? Those are bitter tears that are falling from your eyes, Grace. All because of Andrew. I'm not crying because... he got married to someone else. I'm crying because... Because... <laughs> Andrew lied to me. <laughs> because he told me that he loved only me. <laughs> and now... <laughs> he's getting married to someone else. You'll be spending your life with Elizabeth. If you really loved one another, then it shouldn't matter what the others are saying about you. If I did love her, the thing is I don't. Grace would never have done this to me. I told you so long ago. Way before this, that he's just going to end up hurting you. I know, Nato, that love isn't always sweet and romantic. You sometimes may need to cry. But you don't have to cry forever. We have to figure out something, Grace, to be happy. Just forget all about Andrew. You're wasting your tears. Grace... Love me instead. I promise you this. You will never cry if you love me. Andrew... Let's go through with the wedding. It's about time you stop the charade. Father.
Rebecca? Yes? Where's Madame Helena? Oh, they left pretty quickly. They took Sir George with them. They said they're going to a wedding. What are you doing here? We came to stop this. The kids are just having a little disagreement right now. We can sort this out. Diana, she is not the real Elizabeth Wong. What is all this madness about? What do you mean by that? That girl is a fake. You are not Elizabeth Wong! If they're going there, then everyone will find out that Sir George is alive. Sir Edward and Madame Katerina will be there, right? There's no wedding here today, so you can leave. Everyone go home. Edward? You have been a bad boy, Edward. Are you getting nervous, Edward? I wonder if your knees are already shaking, Edward. Because you are seeing someone who you never expected to come back from the dead. He's in front of you now, Edward. Alive and well. On the contrary, George. Seeing you alive and kicking makes my heart jump with joy. Whoever tried to kill you must have been a very poor shot. They didn't aim at your head, right between your eyes, because if they did, your brains would have been splattered. You're lucky. Okay. I'll be around. I'll be right there. If you want to follow me, after you deal with all this soap opera, drama that's going to happen here. I'll be right there, having a cold drink. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not going to allow it, Charles that this woman here will abuse our family name, and the C family name too, in her web of lies, in her false pretense. The night that I was shot, I remember it now. I was going to have you investigated because that pendant that you were wearing on your neck. Do you remember? I took it from you. Why? Because I already had my doubts about you then. Miss, not Elizabeth Wong. I was going to have you investigated then. I am your real granddaughter. <laughs> stop saying that. Will you please stop all your acting? You tell me now. I want to know. I want to hear it from you. Who? Who is your accomplice? Who was the one who let you into our house? For you to pretend to be Elizabeth Wong, I want to know now. Because whoever it was who planned all that, they were the ones who shot me too. They were the ones who tried to kill me. Why don't you confess? Huh? Right now? Nobody. I don't know anything. No one did. I Go didn't on, do anything. Going. I don't, am your granddaughter. Don't tell me that. I'll have you thrown in jail for what you did. I'll throw you in jail because you pretended to be Elizabeth Wong. Diana. Charles. That's not Elizabeth Wong. You're an imposter. That isn't true. Grandfather. Don't call me grandfather. I'm not your grandfather. You're not my blood. Father. You're not related to me. You'd better tell me. George Wong is getting mad. Tell me the name. Who? 
Who? Father. Is it you, Katarina? You are my number one suspect. I do think sometimes, you know. What will you get if you had planned all of this? Do you want to go to jail? Well? You're an imposter! I am Don't you cry! Long. Don't lie to me! It's Stop your lying! Me. You are not my granddaughter! <laughs> Grandfather! Diana. If she isn't Elizabeth Wong, then I'm not Diana. Father, Father, it's not like you said. I didn't have anything to do with any of this. Things don't always seem what they appear to be. You're right, Katarina. And now it's time for you to pay your dues. Why, Madam Helena? Do I owe you anything? Uncle Edward didn't surrender anything. Why does the tone of your voice make it seem that we had lost? Time will tell us everything. That will happen eventually. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> Was it true, Elizabeth? Was everything that I heard true? And whether I'm the real Elizabeth or not, I love your son very much, and it's his child I'm carrying. I'm not letting anyone step on me. There's nothing you can do about it. Helena. Are you sure you're ready to talk to... to Edward? Are you sure you're... you're going to be okay? Hm. I've been preparing for this for a long time now. Are you just saying that so that I'll believe you? I love your son, and I'm telling the truth! Mother, that child isn't mine. And please... Andrew... Father... And... Andrew, you have to believe me. Andrew. 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 Don't do this to me. I told you I'd be around. I never run away from a fight. <laughs> I know that you've been waiting for this for so long. You've both been dying for us to meet each other face to face. When was the last time we saw each other? Oh, ages ago. I didn't have any gold teeth yet. Look. That's right, Edward. It's been a long time. I'm alive. And I know. So? 
And I know. You were the one who wanted me dead. <laughs> you ruined my dreams and my future! You lied to me too, Elizabeth. You animal! <laughs> we're even now. George. I beg to disagree. I planned it, yes. But it wasn't your... Fool of a son who pulled the trigger on you. And now, I've come back. And I really wanted to tell you something else. So what if you've come back? <laughs> what do you expect me to do? Tremble in fear of you? Because you've joined up with your honey, Helena? Even when we were still young, Edward, you were always naturally evil. Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Oh, Elizabeth, I promise you, until my last dying breath. I'm bad, Helena, because you made me bad. You were the cause of all my viciousness. No, Edward. All of your viciousness is etched deep within your bones. You were born that way, and you are going to die the same way. Consider this for a moment. Did you really think that this is going to be the end? Wrong? You're both dead wrong. This is just the beginning, my dear brother and fake sister-in-law. The battle may have been lost, but the war has just begun. You don't have any more bullets to use. Oh, no. I'll still be able to find a good supply. You won't be able to use anyone else. Helena, as long as there are opportunists and bad people in this world, I will be able to find someone to work for me. You better believe it. Edward! You better remember this. This battle is not yet over. I know that. That's why... I'll be back. As they used to say in the movies, hasta la vista. <laughs> Let's go. George Wong, the billionaire, is alive and has survived the bullet that was meant to end his life. He was safely hidden away by his son, Charles Wong, so that he can recuperate. George Wong revealed himself at his granddaughter's wedding, who turned out not to be his true heir. Meanwhile, it still remains a mystery as to who really shot George Wong. Auntie, you didn't tell me that George Wong was alive. Charles wanted it that way. Does he know? <sighs> it's up to you to tell him the truth. You mean to tell us that Elizabeth's wedding to Andrew didn't push through? She was an imposter, that Elizabeth. Andrew didn't know either that the baby Elizabeth was carrying wasn't his. She tricked us all.
Can you ever forgive me, Andrew? You don't have to ask for forgiveness from me, Mother. But I almost ruined your life, Andrew. All because of how I thought that Elizabeth was my real daughter. I'm so sorry. But you still let her get away. And Sir Edward as well. Don't worry about it, Nato. I'm not going to let those people escape. I'm going to make sure of that. I just hope that no matter where Grace is, she finds out that her wedding didn't push through. I think that somehow, she will find out about it. I want to get even with him so badly. He will pay for everything he's done to us. This means... I haven't found my real daughter. But if Elizabeth isn't my real daughter... Then who is? Get yourselves ready. It's time... ...that we leave this place. We need to return to the mansion. Grace... ...you're coming with us. Where is she? We will find her soon, Mother. I believed in... ...that Elizabeth... ...too much. I don't want to be hurt again. Would it be all right... ...if I borrow your necklace again? Don't interfere in my affairs, and don't ever call me again. I just don't want to play with fire anymore. Grace? I don't want to force myself because... ...no matter how you twist it... ...you can't make heaven Grace. and earth meet. I regret that I inherited your greediness! And I regret that she ever became my mother! You don't have a choice! You're stuck with me! Anastasia, maybe you want to tell them your true identity now. George is asking that you... ...represent them as their lawyer, in all the cases that they're going to file against Edward. But what about Katarina? Auntie, when will this be over? It will be soon. Very soon. Uncle Edward has to pay for all of his crimes. As soon as we get back to the mansion, he'll pay for everything he's done. He'll pay for every crime. I'll make sure of it! Welcome home, George. <laughs>